Hi, I'm Kazia from RoboVunderkind, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started by connecting your Robo to your RoboVunderkind app on your Chromebook. Here's how you connect your Chromebook to Robo. First, you're going to take the block, and then you're going to find the side button, and you're going to want to hold that down until you hear a noise. Now, if your Robo block doesn't turn on or make a noise, that probably means that you need to charge it. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple things to make sure you can connect your robo to your device. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to make sure that your location services is enabled. To do that, what you want to do is go to the bottom right corner, hit the gear icon, find the settings, scroll down until you find your app section, hit manage your apps. Okay, so you're going to see all the apps that you can use, scroll down until you find Robo Wunderkind. Make sure that the location services is enabled. If it's turned off, you're going to want to click on that, and you might see a prompt that asks you if it can turn on your location services. If you have any difficulties at this point, contact your IT administrator to help you figure out how to get around this problem. But you need to have the location services enabled. Okay, now let's make sure that our robo is turned on. Now hit connect. As you can see, now you can see robo and hit connect. Okay, now at this point, you're going to give it a prompt to ask if you want to change the name of the block. We highly recommend that you do change the name of the block to help keep track of them when you're in a classroom situation. I can call this block Robo1, for example. Great, here you are. Now that you've named your Robo block, you should be ready to use it. We also recommend that you use a label maker or some kind of sticker that you can place on the body of the main block so that you can keep track of all the different main blocks, especially while in a classroom environment and make sure you have the best experience. Great, I hope this video helped you get started. Till next time.